Hi folks, thanks for joining me. I'm going to show you what must be the quickest and easiest way to sync audio and video in Windows Movie Maker. I've got the program open. Now the first thing we do is add a video file. So we click on there. And I've got one ready. Click on that and open it. And what we're looking for is two spikes. When I made the video, obviously I clapped my hands twice, tried to keep my hands low out of the way of the video camera. But we've got two spikes that are here. That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. But before that, this is all me getting ready and switching the mic on and things like that. So I'm going to get rid of that because we don't want it. Now, if you want to edit your program, you must do it before we start syncing. Otherwise, you're doing it again. So I'm going to click here. Right click and split. Put your mouse to the top so you get the blue line. Right click again and now remove. And that's removed the front part of the video. So our two spikes are here now. Now the next thing we're going to do, while we've got this highlighted, we're going to go into Video Tools and Edit. And we don't want the video sound. So we're going to mute that. And then we go into Home. And now we're going to import the music. Now you want your bar at the start here. And then we're going to add music from the current point. So click on that. And I want that one called Use Audio. Click on that. And now we've got the two spikes for the video here. And the two spikes for the audio there. Now we've got to move them over. Now if you click on this, you can click on that and take it across and let go. But it jumps all over the place, so it takes quite a while. So what we're going to do is go to Music Tools Options, and then if you just put your mouse on that top little arrow there and click it, you'll see it starts moving over a bit at a time, but it doesn't jump about back and forth. So we just click clicking on that. In fact, look, you can hold your hand down to it to get nearer. And stop here. Now just click one at a time. We're nearly there. Just keep clicking. That's about it. And that's about it. Now, if we play this, we should see. I should have shown you before, but obviously it was out of sync before. But we're in sync now. I'm just going to show you quickly how to sync audio and video in Windows Movie Maker. There you are. So that's it. what I should have told you as well. If you want to, you can get your thumbnail size and make some extra large, and then you can see that a lot easier. Same as also you can magnify it with these sliders at the bottom here. Right. So that's that. We've got it synced now. In your video, you don't want the clapping sound. I wouldn't have thought in your video. So we're going to get rid of that now. So what we do is. Make sure you click on the audio section so you've got that black round line around it, and then bring this line just past there, just past the two spikes. There, just past the two spikes. So we're going to get rid of those, and again, right click again and click split. Now we've got two separate audio files here now, so I want to click on this one. I'm not going to get rid of it because that'll mess everything up. So, what we have to do now, it's already here, go to the top corner there. And click on music volume and turn that down there to mute it. So that has muted the volume on that bit, but it hasn't touched that bit. So now if we play it again, we'll play it from there, look. I'm just going to show you quickly how to sync audio and video. So that's it. So that's got rid of those two spikes. We don't want that in our video. We want it nice and quiet. Uh, and that's the job done. So uh, thank you for watching. Much appreciate it. Thanks for your interest. And we'll see you on another video. Cheerio. Thank you.